Meteorologist Darren Peck, and whoa, we're bracing for that rain. We are, particularly for the next storm, Ryan, which is the Thursday afternoon now into Friday morning. The timing of this significant rainmaker has moved up a bit, and we're going to be focused on the Thursday afternoon time frame a little more. We're keeping an eye on the big picture. We're watching the global pattern. We're looking at the North, North American side of the globe. You can see where we are, and you can see how there's a big plume of moisture. This is looking ahead to Friday. That's about to get pulled out of the subtropics and pointed right at us. It's a classic signature there for what an atmospheric river looks like when you're just looking at the water vapor. But I'm going to show it to you in another way here in one second. We'll do a little comparison. Here's the storm for tonight and tomorrow. And this is going to be very similar to what we've had for the last four weeks or so. We're going to have a cold front come through tonight and tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., we're going to see an organized line of rain move across the bay, and it goes right through the heart of the bay before sunrise, and by about 8 o'clock, it's done. Probably get about a quarter of an inch out of rain out of okay. that, and, and then we're pretty much finished with it. That's going to be very similar to what we've been doing for much of February. Now we're going to do the comparison for how the system coming our way for Thursday afternoon is going to be different. First of all, we'll look at it on the big picture. This one is not solely coming down from the north like so many of them have. This one's going to have that to the uh, component of it, but it's also going to be pulling in a lot more moisture from the southwest, and that's different. The last several storms have not been doing that. There's another look at that atmospheric river, but if we watch it on the close-up view, you're going to see how dramatically different it looks from tonight's rain to Thursday's rain. That is what an atmospheric river looks like. This is why we classify these, study them, designate them, label them, and message them. It's going to have a lot more rain than a storm would have if it was not being fueled by this kind of a feature. Thursday afternoon into Friday is the primary time frame for it, but there will be scattered showers that are going to stick around through Saturday. The rainfall totals also tell the story. So here's the takeaway. From Thursday afternoon through Saturday, we could see about two to two and a half inches of rain. Primarily at this stage in the winter for us and kind of at this stage of where we are with the previous series of storms, this is not a major flood risk from a rivers and streams standpoint. But two to two and a half inches of rain in 36 hours is likely going to lead to some street level flooding, low lying intersections, clogged gutters. That's a concern with this here at home. The other concern is on the leading edge of it, the wind is going to pick up. So for Thursday afternoon and evening, we're seeing 40 mile an hour gusts moving across the ridge tops in much of the bay. That means we'll probably have some downed trees with this for the second half of Thursday. It's going to look and feel a lot like the storms did that came through here in late December and early January because it's put together very much like those were. This is now a category, at, when we categorize atmospheric rivers, we put them on a scale from one to five, Ryan. Mm -hmm. This one is now uh, just updated to a four. Oh. So it's just another way of messaging the, the strength of this. It's not much you can do with that other than the information we just looked at. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be enough rain for street level flooding. It's gonna be real windy on Thursday. It, the, the radar that you show, I mean, that looks ominous when it's when it's just sweeping in. I think it was the comparison, too, mm -hmm. with the rain we're going to see tomorrow, which is just kind of your run-of-the-mill cold front. Yeah, it's cute. Yes. <laughs> That's exact, that was really the hope of looking yeah. at it that way. It really gives us an idea of why these storms are put together so wow. differently.